Journey into space. October the 19th, 1965. In the Australian outback, many miles from the nearest town, stands the rocket ship that is about to carry Jet Morgan and his crew to the moon. Beside Jet, the captain, there are Stephen Mitchell, engineer, Lemmy Barnett, radio operator, and Doc Matthews. That's me. Already the scaffolding has been removed, and the ground crew have taken cover from the shattering rocket blast that is soon to send the moon ship on its way. Within the ship, outwardly calm and strapped to our couches, the four of us who are to make this momentous journey are anxiously waiting for our captain to launch us out into space. Zero minus 45 seconds. Hello, control. Stand by for firing. Standing by and good luck, Leonard. Switch on recorder. Recorder on. Doc, gyros. Gyros. Okay, Mitch. Okay, Jet. Doc. Okay. Lemmy. Okay, I think. Stand by for count off. Don't anybody try to move. Don't even try to raise your head. Lemmy, lie down. Oh, I'm only getting comfy. Lie flat and stay flat. Oh. Firing in 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, contact! I get up each day at the crack of dawn I have a quick shower, put my best clothes on Have coffee and toast, it's the same every day Then I dream of the stars in the Milky Way Then I drift up into space I go out to work, always catch the train I stand all the way and then back again When I get the job done and I'm back at home I venture out to my astrodome Clear and I go outside. Yeah. 